you. It's been a it's been a rough week. Uh, one of River's friends came over to play a bit ago and brought a flu for us. River got sick, and when River was sick, I couldn't be here really working because I had to take care of him. And you know, when you're a parent taking care of your kid, you don't want to not hug them and give them a kiss on their head at night, even if they're sick. So then, I got sick. So I was out of commission for a while, um, and it's been a rough week. I got a bunch of lousy news from a rental property that I have. Uh, it's a brand new place that I had, you know, had professionals build, but it has had all sorts of electrical issues, plumbing issues. There were more plumbing issues and stuff. Um, it's just, it's just been hard. And I knew I, I wasn't here. I wasn't getting work done. Uh, so it's been, it's been kind of, kind of difficult and not all that, uh, satisfying, uh, you know, and everything. Uh, but, uh, Josh has been here. So, uh, you know, what I had him uh, doing while I was out was, uh, nail holes, like, uh, like gouges and things like that. I uh, showed him how to use a uh, wood putty with a stack and knife. You know, you push it in, scrape it clean, push it in, scrape it clean. Uh, so I had him doing that. Uh, so, yeah, I was kind of thinking, well, you know, at least Josh is getting that done when I get in, you know, the place should have that stuff kind of done. But I just got here yesterday and there was kind of a problem with that. And I, I, I don't mention it to throw Josh under the bus. You know, I, the day that I showed him how to do it, I was, still kind of having the flu, but I, I drove down here and, you know, I came and showed them how to mix it up. Here's, here's the tray. It didn't get cleaned up either. I, this is the way I found it. Uh, I showed them how to mix it up and, you know, you push it into the hole and then scrape it clean and then, you know, you push it into the hole and scrape it clean. Well, I also showed them how to, um, you know, wet down the area first too so the, you know, the wood wouldn't suck the moisture out. So I went through it a couple times for him, and I thought he had it, but um, apparently not, because this was uh, this is what I came back to. Just the post just kind of smeared with it, and uh, he used the entire tub that I had, which should be enough for a couple houses, just on these these posts. I mean, some of them are like you know a good half an inch thick hanging off the side of it, and the whole thing just needs to be scrape down like that and uh, it was just kind of it was a little depressing I talked to him about it and you know I, I, I got to take responsibility because I blew in you know I guess I took art classes you, you know when I was younger I know how to work with clays and paints and things like that so maybe I just kind of presume that people would have uh, a little bit more of a natural ability to use putties um, but you know I didn't stick around to make sure he had it down because, you know, I wasn't feeling good and I didn't want to be getting him sick either because I was still sick. But, uh, yeah, it was it was kind of deflating. And the reason I mention it, again, it's not to throw Josh under the bus. You know, I, I, he did his best that he could and I wasn't available to ask any questions, uh, you know, and everything. But uh, I just want to mention it, you know, because things don't always go the way that you plan and if you got someone working for you uh, it's a good idea to uh, not only show them how to do something but you know watch them do it and make sure that they got it I didn't I didn't watch him do it at all I just you know you know wet down the surface for him pushed it in scraped it clean I thought it was pretty obvious I didn't think I needed to you know double check to make sure he had it but it's a good idea to just uh, when you show someone something make sure that they their understanding of how to do it and their ability to do it is uh, is what you're thinking. I mentioned that they should clean up the work tools too. So that's it. Um, so I'm back today. Uh, I, when I came the other day and found this stuff, I just I was gonna work on the rest of this wall and get it up, but I was just kind of depressed seeing it all, and I was still kind of sick too. So I was just I just went back and uh, kind of moped to be honest. And now I'm back. And I'm ready to get going again. And that's all you can do. So, so that's it. I'm going to get that wall up today. Got to get this clear first. Because it's got all that junk on there. Look at that. Huge chunks. Yeah. Can't dwell on it though. Move forward. And uh, we'll keep going. That's it. Thanks for watching.